Hi there, welcome to the ClickSense year start and year end function tutorial. So this function, this these two functions as the name suggests helps you identify the date which is based on the date you are supplying and then shows you what is the year start date or year end date. And you can move back and forth also into the years based on the parameters that we will going to specify. So let's see how we can achieve it within the ClickSense. So first of all, uh, here is a quick dummy data, the invoice data. Uh, let's say these are the dates on which the invoices has come. And we want to predict or not say predict, but we want to identify the uh, start date of the respective uh, date, start date of the year for the respective date. So what I need to do is maybe I can just create start year, start end, just a relevant name and load all the columns of this table comma comma um year start and inv date which is this column inv date comma zero which means the current time period time period in which this particular date is mentioned as year start date comma and then we have year end, year end, and then INV date, comma zero. Again, indicate the year end date for the the particular date that that is there at that point in time. As year end date, resident temp table, and that is it. Now since all of the column values are over here for this particular table so we can drop it so drop table and the temp table because we don't need these dates these dates are already part of this this particular table hit the save button load the data close this come to analysis and let's create one table at the dimension invoice date as our base date and uh, after that through add column we will add one more dimension which is year start date and again through add column dimension we will add year end date so now if you see 28th of march 2012 the year start date is 1 1 2012 and end date should be the 31st of december 2012 right and same has been done for 2013 2014 based on the invoice dates that is there and with the help of these two you can do the calculation that uh, from the year star date how many days have been pending through the arithmetic operation and same is the case like how many days are remaining in the year through the year end date and invoice date uh, arithmetic calculations now one more thing quick thing i will just specify or mention is uh, year start if I say minus one it will go back to the last year and if I say one it will move to the next year so this minus one minus two minus three or plus one plus two plus three will move back and forth into the year if you have that need where you need to do a calculation like this so load the data click close come to analysis and over here this is 2012 for year start we have specified the minus one so this will be 2011 because this is going one year back and for year end we specified we had specified the plus one so 2012 is actually moved to the 2013 and so on and so forth for the rest of the values if you compare it with this and this so this way you can have the year calculation done since you have created the dates now you can do all the calculation through the arithmetic operation based on the chart metric kpi that you have in the hand that that involves this sort of calculation so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic